Okay, so we are planting Clusia in the back today. And I wanted to show you something. I'm going to have my husband show you, actually, because he's the one planting. So, Kurt, what do you want to... What I've been doing is I actually take and put a few bags of really rich soil, the black cow or any type of top soil oh. or a composting soil, and I put it as a base because we're here in Florida with sandy soil. And so I'm getting it so that it has a really good uh, base so that it helps retain the water at the bottom. And now I backfilled it and then I stepped and tamped down all around the outside of it. You've got a, what, 60, 40 chance of uh, losing or uh, of the plant actually um, living. But if you want a 100% chance, then what I do is I take the hose and I put it on jet. And then I go in, which I've already done this, I go in all the way around the base and I just jet all the good soil back in and it gets rid of any air that is down in the bottom of the uh, root system. So now I have no air pockets down there. And now I literally, in all the years of planting, I have never lost a tree by doing it this way. And that's it. Just a helpful tip to uh, I'll let you know how I plant the uh, any type of plants or trees. So I know that all the water has gone down underneath into the air pockets and then the dirt has spilled in by you doing that. Are you going to put more dirt on top or will? Yes, if, if my roots, if I can see the roots, then I'll come back and uh, uh, add some more dirt. Okay. The other thing I do is I put a berm all the way around the outer edge oh. so that when I come down to water it, it does not uh, just run off, that it stays soaking right around the plant. This one here yeah. was actually looking a little wilty this morning because I didn't have a chance yesterday to uh, jet the dirt in around the roots. Looks great now. Wow. This is one of the black cows that we used because we used two different types. And this is the other one. So he put one of each in the bottom of the tr uh, bushes. So these are the first ones we put in back in February. And So the small ones have only grown about 18 inches, and some of these others have grown between 24 and 30 inches in a, since February. Into January, I think we planted them, or beginning of February, I'd have to look. But if you're planting, you know how much all this costs, so you certainly don't want to lose your plants. So I hope those tips help you um, to be successful in your gardening and your landscaping. Thanks for watching Hobie Farms. God bless you and have a great day.